Republican President Donald Trump is going to hold a rally in Wisconsin on the same night that Democratic presidential contenders debate in Iowa. The Trump campaign, officially known as Donald J. Trump for President, announced the January 14, 2020, rally on deck. 30 it will be held at the UW Milwaukee Panther Arena in Milwaukee. President Trump has delivered for Wisconsin creating 37,400 new jobs, including 4,900 new manufacturing jobs and 13,800 new construction jobs, said Michael Glasner, CEO of Trump's campaign, in a statement. President Trump looks forward to returning to the Badger State to celebrate his message of promises made, promises kept. The rally will start at 7 p.m. CST, the Democratic National Committee DNC, announced earlier this month that it hold its first debate in Iowa of this cycle on Jan. 14, 2020. The debate, hosted by CNN and the Des Moines Register, will be held at Drake University in Des Moines. The start time of the debate hasn't been announced but it will likely be 7 p.m. CST or 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, going from past debate start times. That means Trump will be on the stage in Wisconsin at the same time top Democrat contenders are debating in Iowa. Trump surprised political observers by winning Wisconsin in 2020 as part of his stunning electoral college win. Trump also flipped Pennsylvania, Florida, and Michigan and nearly won Minnesota. Democratic presidential candidate former Vice President Joe Biden, center speaks is, left to right, former tech executive Andrew Yang, South Bend Mayor Pete Buttigieg, Sen. Elizabeth Warren, D. Mass, Senator Bernie Sanders, IVT, Sen. Amy Klobuchar, D. Min, and billionaire Tom Steyer listen during the Democratic presidential primary debate at Loyola Marymount University in Los Angeles, California on deck. 19, 2019. Seven candidates out of the crowded field qualified for the sixth and last Democratic presidential primary debate of 2019. Mario Tama, Getty Images, just seven Democrats made the stage for the December debate and the DNC announced deck. 20 higher thresholds for the seventh debate, including requiring 5% or more support in at least four polls or 7% of more support in at least two single-state polls in the four earliest voting states, which includes Iowa. Candidates also need at least 225,000 unique donors and a minimum of 1,000 unique donors in at least 20 states. Since former New York City mayor is self-financing his campaign, he will likely not meet the second threshold. The candidates who made the last debate are, former Vice President Joe Biden, Senator Elizabeth Warren, D. Mass, Sen. Bernie Sanders, IVT, Entrepreneur Andrew Yang, Sen. E. Klobuchar, D. Min, South Bend Mayor Pete Buttigieg, and billionaire Tom Steyer. Five of the candidates have qualified so far for the Jan. 14 debate Biden, Buttigieg, Klobuchar, Sanders, and Warren. The DNC rejected Yang's request that the DNC commission new polls ahead of the Jan. 10 qualifying deadline, arguing that there haven't been enough surveys conducted in recent weeks. A committee spokesperson said in a statement obtained by The Hill that it would not commission polls. cost is an issue we would be glad to contribute to the at DNC the cost of the commission polls. It's a small price to pay to actually see what voters are thinking at this crucial time. Stair said on Monday that he agreed with Yang, saying, the race has changed since the last early state polls over 40 days ago, Yang said in a statement, we need the at DNC too. Between now and January 10, the DNC should commission four early state qualifying polls in Iowa, New Hampshire, Nevada, and South Carolina, where all the candidates have invested their time, resources, and staff. It has been 47 days since a qualifying poll in Iowa, New Hampshire, or Nevada was taken. As you know, big shifts can happen within short periods in this race, as we've already witnessed multiple times. Let's ask the people, he added. 
Follow Zachary on Twitter at ZachStieber. Let's block ads. Why?